pizza time. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay f calm! What? Night, girl. I'll see you tomorrow. Be gone, son! I don't understand what's going on here. Hello, Nico's here. I'm late but happy new year my students. I hope the best for you all. Today we are gonna talk about the sleepy Shinana. But first I wanted to thank you guys. We are almost at 1000 subscribers. The objective is almost done, really thank you very much. Anyway, Shinana is an aircraft carrier from the Sakura Empire. She came in the game with the event Dreamwalker's Butterfly. She is the first ultra rare ship in the game along with the new Bullen. Shinana is one of the best aircraft carrier in the game. In term of pure power, she is slightly weaker than Saratoga Retrofit. But her HP is the best in the game, even the Iron Blood ships can't catch up. Sadly, you can't get her anymore since she is a limited ship, but I hope for every new commanders to get her next time. She has different mechanics than the normal ships. You can up her to level 120 without fully limit break her. Because to limit break her, you can only use an another Shinana, or a specialized Bulan Custom MK3. You can get a specialized Bulan Custom MK3 by obtaining specialized cores, who are easy to get. You get some by completing weekly missions, completing research and by defeating normal, hard, event or war archives stages. But you need to get 4000 for one specialized Bulan Custom MK3, and you need 4 of them to fully limit break Shinana, that's why the devs let us level up her to level 120. They are so kind. She has 3 skills, these skills are kinda long, so I'm gonna summarize them, the first skill, Hope's Tempest. 3 seconds after the start of a battle, she launches a barrage. And when Shinana launches an airstrike she launches a shit in Kai 2, a Ryusui, and a Saiyan Barrage. But the Saiyan Barrage here, doesn't make any damage. It's only a debuff barrage. It decreased the firepower, torpedo, aviation and anti-air, of only one enemy by 3%. And take more damage. And good thing, it prioritizes humanoids enemy, which is more practical, than debuff a random boat, or even worse a bomber. And better, Fosa's double far up until the end of the battle and can be stacked three times. A good skill when you're against a tough boss. The second skill, Dreamwalker's Bow. She gets a buff for her aviation by 15% for her two first battles. That means she is more suitable as a boss fleet than a mob fleet. Next you have, every 15 seconds she launches a special barrage. Damn that makes a lot of barrages. And finally when an another fleet is on his third, fourth or fifth battle, she launches a barrage 15 seconds after the start. For example you have a fleet one with Shinana and a second one without her, if the second fleet is on his third, fourth or fifth battle, the butterfly barrage comes even tough Shinana is not in the second fleet. But you need to know that this skill change in Operation Siren. I let you meet it. The third skill, Protector of the New Moon, if this ship is afloat, that increase the firepower, evasion and the anti-submarine warfare for all your destroyers in this fleet by 15%. And if there is minimum 3 Sakara Empire ships, she gets 20% minus damage from gun and plane. And increase the aviation and the accuracy for all Sakara Empire aircraft carrier and light aircraft carriers by 15%. I think this skill is made to be played with Nagato, you know, because of her first skill who up all the Sakara Empire in the fleet with a bonus for aircraft carriers. If you combine this with a little Nashiro and a little Jinsuyu, that could be a good combo for the destroyer you choose. Now it's time for the equipment. For her first slot you can choose any aircraft, a fighter, a dive bomber or a torpedo bomber. 
You can choose a F4 UV F-17 Pirate Squad if you want an anti-air and control the sky. Or SB2C Helldiver for damage. For her dive bomber you can choose an another SB2C Helldiver. You can easily get a SB2C Helldiver, you can drop it in Chapter 3.2, or in T3 and T4 Eagle Tech Box. For her torpedo bomber you can choose the Aichi B7A Ryusui. The Aichi is good for her with her first skill, but don't worry if you don't have one, you can use a Fairy Barracuda instead, but for me it's important to put an Aichi in her equipment. For her auxiliary you can choose two steam catapults for a maximum of power. For her formation, you can play her with formidable. With her skill who decrease the speed of enemy in the first skill of Shinana, you can concentrate all your damage on a single enemy. Pretty interesting, right? With a little Nagato for the reload and the damage bonus, it's perfect. She only has one skin, but it's a really good one. I even bought it cause, you know, I really like the beauty of the graphics and the details. Anyway, that's all for today my students. If you want me to present a ship you're not able to use leave her name in the comment section. Bye bye.